Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer, also known as Happy Place Planning. I'm glad you stopped by and I hope you enjoy today's video. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Let's sit down and plan out another week in my Erin Condren Life Planner. Before I do that, I did wanna show you the current week. It's still pretty early in the current week, so not everything is completely filled out, especially on this second half. But today we're gonna jump in and plan out the week of October 3rd. And I did pull a Planner Cake Kit, Kit 441. Okay, so let's do a little bit of some chatting and life update as I get these headers and dates down. Um, if you watched my last video, you know I talked about um, the fact that I've been having some issues with my heart and I did wear a halter monitor for a few days. And of course, when I had that on, nothing really major happened other than the fact that my heart rate was still really high. So when I say that, I'm talking like I was making copies and it was 173. So it should not be that high for just something simple like that. It's not like, not like I was out running a marathon or anything. So um, nothing really major came out of that other than, yes, we know you have a high heart rate, which we already knew. And then I did have my ultrasound on Monday. Yes, on Monday. And I actually went to high school with the person that um, did my ultrasound. And he is obviously the tech and not a cardiologist, but he did kind of zoom in and show me that he does not think that I have the genetic heart defect that my dad has. So um, I, where I'm at with that is I'm waiting for the actual cardiologist to call me back. So it's been almost a full week now and I have not heard back, but I'll update you guys when I do. I just really want answers. I think waiting is sometimes the hard part and not only with my heart, but with some things that are going on at work and in my personal life, I am having to just be patient and wait. And that's hard for me. So I'm working on it. Through here, I wanted to fill out my sidebar with the sidebar sticker add-on. And I'm gonna be tracking the same few things. Part of this um, health update, I guess, issue and everything else is that I have been taking a really close look at how I spend my time and what I'm focusing on and what I'm putting my energy into because my energy has definitely been limited lately. And yeah, I just, everything from the content that I watch as far as planners to the shows, to the podcasts I'm listening to, everything. I'm just being brutal about being intentional. So all that to say, I have been focusing on these four things. It's just kind of basic things, but it's been working. And then I haven't decided yet if I want to participate in the Coco Daisy Challenge this week. Um, I used to be one of those people that did the Coco Daisy Challenge and the Planner Kate Challenge every single day. Um, usually just a picture on Instagram, but I have really been enjoying making reels and YouTube videos. So that's kind of went by the wayside. So I'm just gonna put this here as like a placeholder. And then if I decide to add anything, I will. That's the other thing. Um, someone had posted about, do people really need a separate content planner? I think I saw this over on Instagram. Um, planner Mammy, she's hilarious. I'll link her below. Um, she does like 
anonymous confessions and people are like, you're really trying to influence us to have a separate content planner. And I got to thinking, do I really need a separate content planner? And the answer is probably no, I don't. So everything that I need can easily be fit into this weekly planner. And I've been using consistently for some time now, this day designer as my daily. So this goes with me and then this stays at home and I sit down and kind of update it every night. And I love pl planning out the week with stickers and seeing my completed weeks and having everything in one book for the end of the year. So someone had asked me about that too. Okay, so we have kind of the skeleton down for the week. I do want to use the weekend banner. I was thinking about using the weekend banner from a different sheet here. This one here, this is the day and date dot sheet. And let me just say, as I'm filling this out, also, if you want to use 5 million planners or you do need a content planner, no judgment. I, again, have just been really intentional on how I'm spending my time. And some of that has been minimizing the planners that I'm playing with because I do like to play with them. It's fun. Okay, let's do time specific things. I did want to mark for my son that there is no Taekwondo this week. Yay, he passed his belt testing, so he is now a brown belt. But that break really could not have come at a better time. So of course, with all of the stuff going on in my life, my husband has some changes coming up at work too. And it's October, he usually helps a lot with a local haunted house, which we love doing, but yeah, just a lot going on. Okay, I wanted to find an arrow stick. That actually took me way longer than it should have to find this binder, which tells me it's probably time to organize my Rascog card that holds all of my extra stickers from Planner Kate, which for me, um, cleaning is a form of stress management. So, That'll be perfect. I'm stressed. I can get my stickers organized. All right, so no practice for the week. It is also parent teacher conference week, so I need to mark that as well. So these are my set of doodles um, as far as school stuff. I was actually looking for this one, which is like the mixed version instead of a full sheet of these because this has the parent teacher conference on it. And that is going to be on Wednesday after school. And then we have a half day on Thursday and no school, an extra long weekend um, starting on the 7th. So along with the no practice, I don't have any games to work either as far as freshman class sponsor. So that's really freeing up my week. It's starting to look like, fingers crossed, this is going to be a slow week and we won't have too much stuff to do, which will really allow me to take a week to recharge and relax. But we do have just a few things. So I've been loving these dash labels. I talk about them all the time. We do have a small group on Wednesday. We also have a small group obviously on Sunday. So while I am filling that sticker out, I might as well get another one prepped. And then we will have a church sermon on Sunday as well. Let's get these down where they belong. All right, 
The other thing that I wanna make sure I do, especially this week, I try to do this every week, but since this is the slower week, I will definitely be doing my Sunday Reset, and I love the Sunday Reset sticker on this little sheet. And these are actually made for the Moxie Life. So they're in the Moxie Life A5 listings over at Planner Kate. And yeah, I just love them. They fit well in the hourly planner. So I'm gonna put that Sunday Reset sticker there and list out my items. All right, got those all listed. I'll put that down here. You can see they fit really nicely in the columns of the hourly planner. Okay, so that is time specific things. I know that does not look like a lot, but trust me when I say after the past few very busy weeks, very, very busy weeks, I am super happy to have all this white space. So hopefully when I update this, it will be more of just a to-do list and some rest time and spending time with uh, my family. But I do want to get a, a list going for the week. So that I usually put those items over here on my sidebar and I will just reference back from the past week to see what I need to get done for sure. Okay, so that will give me a good list on the things that I definitely need to get done at some point in the week. I know this was a very quick plan with me as far as just not a lot of appointments going on, but I don't make things up for you guys um, just to have something to film. This is actually just what I have going on, so I know you guys will understand that. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you back next week for another weekly plan with me.